What is up, Nerf Nation? I'm Naptown Nerf, and this is another episode of Naptown Nerf Parcels. I got some really awesome stuff in from Out of Darts. Super excited for this package. This is gonna be awesome. You guys are gonna be super excited to see what's in this. And then got a pretty cool package from Turf Springs. I made a order, one of the last orders made from Turf Springs over in Aussie land. So this is pretty special and got quite a few things in here to show you. So let's crack these things open. All right, we're definitely gonna have to do this one first because this is just too good to wait on. I just got home, I saw this in the mailbox and I'm like, I'm opening that immediately. So let's go ahead and crack her open. Now I really have to thank Out of Darts for getting this to me so quickly. I was super surprised to see this already because I was expecting it to be shipped after Christmas and this is literally the day after Christmas when I'm shooting this. So he shipped that out really quickly and I'm just very thankful. He's got the best customer service I think out there. He has very affordable shipping prices and he gets it to you super fast. So let's go ahead and open this up. So got a couple pretty special flywheels. We'll put that aside. And I have something pretty awesome in here that I have to look at first, so. Boom clips cage guys really really cool and with the eclipse cage comes some pretty special obviously eclipse wheels uh, you have to have the wheels to work with the cage or it just it won't work it has they have to both be together it's kind of like a snickers cage you've got to have the wheels for the cage and this is probably the coolest thing to come out in the flywheel community anyways probably in the community period since the Snickers cage, in my opinion. That is just really, really awesome. Those things are just, I mean, there is like barely a gap between theirs. There's really no gap. And uh, if you guys aren't aware, this cage gives you 100% coverage of the dart and crushes the dart all the way around. So that's really, really cool. Uh, something that is supposed to get you 200 or plus FPS if you have the right motor set up. And that's just breaking boundaries. If that's the case, that's breaking boundaries in the flywheel world. Really, really cool, and I'm pretty excited. Um, this also will accept brushless motors along with your 130s or 132s or 180 motors. Now there's only a few motors that are really available right now that will power this adequately and it's still, there's still testing obviously to do, but the, there's not really a motor set up on standard voltage as of now that will allow you to run these the way they're supposed to be run. So you are supposed to run these at 50 RPMs and that's a lot of RPMs compared to what we normally run our normal flywheel cages at. And then the torque has to be quite a bit higher than normal torque. So there's a couple motors out right now. The new Neo Hellcats are probably a pretty good option for this, but then you have to run them on 4S instead of 3S. So you're over, over volting them. And then also the blue Titan Hyperion motors running on 3S. So that's a 132 motor running on 3S. And that is actually, I think, the most recommended motor, if I'm not mistaken, as of now, uh, from Phil himself. So those are two good options. You could possibly also do maybe XP180s on 3S. I'm not sure about that. There's a lot of testing, obviously, to be d done. And then there's a new... Kronos X motor, the second version of that, that is actually coming out so specifically for these cages. But those, the amp, the amperage that is going to be required to run 
pretty much all these motors, but especially the new Kronos X motors are pretty crazy. So you're going to have to have a humongous LiPo that can power this guy. So I'm honestly thinking about trying to find some brushless motors and doing something completely out of my comfort zone for this. I've actually found some motors that might work. I'm still going to check around and keep looking, uh, but I'm pretty excited to possibly put some brushless motors into this cage and then do a complete super strife. And you're also going to need a big battery. You're going to need something pretty special. So I'm pretty excited to see what I do around this bad boy as I lose one of the flywheels. <laughs> but this is, this is pretty cool. Uh, let me inspect this thing pretty closely here for you guys. And the craftsmanship is really, really special. They did a really good job machining this. This is CNC to aluminum. Really, really nicely done. Very smooth. Great, great craftsmanship here. Now, I know some people were talking about this being recalled. Uh, that is incorrect. Uh, they, I guess they had some issues uh, with the fit of screws in these screw ports, but I believe they, the manufacturers fixed those problems, so they should have no issues. Now, obviously, when I put, this, uh, put motors into this, I will let you know for sure. Now, there is also a dart guide through here. That's what this part is. Uh, so you get that brass kind of effect that you do on like a Snickers cage, but that is done in aluminum also. So that's really nice. I do like the complete aluminum look. I think that's pretty cool. So let's talk about the flywheels here for a second. Like I said, that gives you complete coverage of the dart at a super high crush. I believe it's 42 millimeters all the way around. I could be wrong about that, but I think that's what it is. And then there's a pretty unique design he's added into the top. So instead of having to pry the bottoms off with like screwdrivers or push up with screwdrivers in through the holes of some motor cages, uh, he's actually added this part on here so you can use a gear puller so you can pull the flywheel off without damaging the flywheel, which I think is really cool and definitely a nice add on there. So I think that's pretty cool. These are very well-made flywheels, very smooth. And that is just, that's just awesome. So yes, I did get one of these cages. Now, funny thing is there was only, I believe a hundred of these made total and only 61 of them sent out to US sellers. And I didn't buy just one of them. And I was honestly wanting to buy just two, but I actually accidentally bought three. <laughs> so I have another one here. So there's two of them. And here's the third one. And I'm sure some people will be upset because I bought three of them and I actually didn't intend to buy three of them. I only wanted to buy two and then I was hoping just to get one and I ended up buying three and that's because I was having some major issues getting my phone to work because I was actually out to lunch. Believe it or not I was at Panera with my girlfriend Jill, uh, fiance Jill, and I was trying to, I realized these were going on sale and I was trying to figure out who, had, who still had them available and then I went to Liberty Foam's page and he, I messaged him and he didn't get back to me asking if he still had some available because he hadn't even put them on his Etsy site yet. And then I saw Out of Darts had put him his up on the Etsy site and I realized he was only selling his for $75 and other people had talked about selling them for 80 or possibly even 85. So I was like, I'm definitely getting them from Out of Darts obviously because they're the cheapest. I added two to my cart because I wanted two of them and I went to check out and the literally the thing just spun and nothing was updating and I couldn't check out and I was like what's happening I, d I didn't know what was going on so then luckily Jill was there with her phone and she went on in her phone and found it for me so I added one to her phone because I was like well I'm definitely just need to get one and I went and checked out and I checked out and I paid for it and then I realized I had bought three of them because the other two from when I was on my phone had gone into my cart, but it wouldn't allow me to check out and I didn't realize that it happened. 
And I was like, well, crap. I probably should let, I probably should cancel one of those. And then I was thinking, I was like, well, you know what? I might as well get three of them. And if I want to sell one of them, then I can do that at some point. But I feel very lucky to have three of the 61 that went out. I think that's pretty sweet. I don't know when they're going to be sold again. And you never know about these things on how long they will actually be made for just like the DRS cage they basically stop so you never know how long or you know how many more will be made I'm a pretty certain they're gonna make more of these I just don't know when more will be available so feel pretty lucky to have three of these and let's go ahead and open this last one and then I can look at all of them they all look amazing Wow that's it's very very nicely done they did a really good job on this. So I really appreciate Out of Darts having these for sale for the $75 price, which they were recommend being sold at. I think that's really nice because I know he could have gotten more than $75 a piece for each of these. And that is not cheap, but this is a very high quality product, a pretty special first run product. And I feel very lucky to have three of these things. So can't wait to definitely put one of those in a build fairly soon it's going to be a pretty involved build probably with an integration a paint job and a lot of new stuff i'm not going to shortcut it i'm not just going to throw it in a stripe and call it done this is going to be something truly truly special when i create something around that and then we'll see down the road what i do with the other two cages so pretty excited about that and then after all that craziness went on with me trying to purchase it. I really wanted an extra set of flywheels because I wanted those just in case I decided to go with a 3D printed version of the cage. And they do have a 3D printed version available for free download. I don't have a 3D printer, but I have friends that have one. So I probably will be getting one of those soon. I definitely prefer the metal to the 3D printed cage, especially with something that is gonna have this much stress on the cage from the torque and the power and the just it's going to have a lot of stress on that cage so 3d printed cages i'm really curious to see how those hold up and how those do but i thought it would be a good idea to grab another set of flywheels just in case i decide to try to put an eclipse cage into something that is not a strike or a rapid strike so that's why i went ahead and grabbed one more set of flywheels so that's pretty, pretty cool that you can get just the flywheels. And if these are still available, I will put links obviously to both in the description box. I don't know if the cage will be available for Mounted Darts right now uh, when I put this video up, but the flywheels may still be, and you will be able to buy the flywheels and then print your own cage or get a reseller to print you a cage. And then you can at least have a 3D printed version of this cage now. It is very important that you do have the right motor setup for these. Um, that is crucial and a lot more stuff will be coming out about these cages and motor setup and combination of LiPo and all that. All that's gonna be crucial for this build. It is a very top tier build. So pretty excited to see what comes out in the community with this cage. So let's move on to the last package with some other pretty cool stuff. So here we go. Boom, lots of springs, lots and lots of springs. And I don't remember all what I ordered, but I ordered quite a few long shot springs. So here's an eight kg long shot spring, which is pretty sweet. Um, turf springs are just by far the best. I mean, this is an 18 kg long shot spring, which is pretty beefy. I, haven't, I did not have one of these yet, so I definitely wanted to grab an eight kg spring. And when I bought these, I did not know that turf springs would be continuing in the USA. I knew there was rumors about it, but I didn't know for sure. And I didn't want to take the chances and I don't know what will change when that happens. I think it's happened, but I'm not sure if they, they have springs for sale yet or not. I really am. It's very difficult to keep track of all the things that are happening in the Nerf community, but I do believe Evan Williams and Paige Roundtree are continuing turf springs in the USA. So for the US people, I believe you will still be able to get turf springs and hopefully they will be able to sell overseas as well. So 
I'm glad about that. I think this is such a good spring, definitely the best spring that's ever been available in the Nerf community. I mean, so I, I didn't want to miss out and I, I definitely wanted to make an order before these weren't available, uh, but I am excited that they will be continuing in the USA. So oh, here's a catch spring that's uh, dangling here. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but uh, this is a 10 kg, just uh, uh, I believe it's a ghost spring, but um, I use these a lot in my messenger mod. So this is a great sp up spring upgrade for a messenger. So I grabbed uh, at least one or two more of those. Yeah, I believe here's another one, oh, another catch spring along with a <laughs> Hammer shot 9 kg spring, which I hadn't had one of those, so I wanted to grab one of those, and everything's all tangled together, and we're not going to worry too much about that right now. So there's that. Uh, he threw in a bunch of extra catch springs in here, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's another 18, another 18 kg spring. Uh, so I got two of those, I believe. I believe I got another 16 kg spring, which is probably my favorite spring, and probably their most popular spring for the long shot, so that's pretty cool. And a 20 kg spring, which is just an insane amount of spring power. So that's pretty awesome as well. So I got a few more 16 kg springs and an 8 kg. Lots of long shot springs. I definitely have enough long shot springs for quite a while, I do think. Uh, very thankful for Mike and what he did with this company while he was running it. I think he did an amazing job. Uh, they're definitely the best springs the Nerf community has ever had. And I was very sad that he decided to step away and was, was no longer going to run the company. I am glad, though, that the company will be continuing in the USA with Evan and Paige, I think that's awesome, and I definitely think this spring needs to continue. Uh, this spring company needs to continue because they're just too good to to not continue. So, lots of things to look forward to. Thank you so much for watching. Smash that like button. Please subscribe, and as always, peace out. I am what I